I speak unto thee this day, and I say, God, a privilege, a privilege, a privilege to keep on serving me. That is, to keep on serving with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise. I say, count a privilege to keep on being directed, guided, and instructed by me. I say, count a privilege to partake of all that I offer and provide. For I say, when you really will serve me with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise, because you are privileged to be redeemed, then I say, you are found well-pleasing. For I say, it is me, the living God, who desires that my people would stay fresh in the attitude of gratitude unto me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who has given tender mercy. It is me, the living God, who continues to give the same to those who walk in repentance before me. That is, the ones who will be ever faithful and true unto me and walk in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way of mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will bring forth the ones who cleave to me. Therefore, I say, in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, let it be me that you continue to serve, to obey, and follow after. And let it be me who will prove to be the life source, prove to be the truth, prove to be the hope intended. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the way of eternal life, that they can indeed be kept each day in me. That is, kept in the righteousness, the truth, and the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to take on the attributes of death, but I say that I called you to walk in the way of life. That is, to be ever thankful, to be serving me, to be guided by me. For I say, when you look at the condition that men are in by having their own way, I say it is a dreadful thing to be whole. For I say that men are full of all manner of filthiness, perversion, uncleanness, and corruption, and yes, they are loving it so. But I say that the sad thing is, the very thing they are choosing, is the very thing that gives them the condemnation of death and damnation of soul. So for all of their so-called freedom, for all of their superiority and pride, I say they will end in despair. Now I say this day that I the living God never called you to despair, but I say that I've called you to the joy that is found in me. Therefore I say be faithful and true each day to be walking uprightly in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. For I say if you will indeed be serving with gladness, rejoicing and the giving of praise, then you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the strength and the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day there are many impostors, fakers, pretenders and hypocrites who are claiming that they are serving me. But I say that the truth of it is they are simply the servants of self and loving itself. For I say they are ever demanding, commanding, and speaking out of the issues of their own hearts as to how great they are. And I say they think the whole world must bow to them, including me. But I say they are fools, for I say they are pretenders and mockers who are going to be taken according to their own lust. That is, they will be given over to the very vices they love more than me. For I say, when men will be loving their sin, continuing in sin, and walking in sin, then I say they are not found pleasing to me. And I say it is because they have chosen a way that I never ordained. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my own people would come forth rejoicing, ever uplifted in me. And I say that I do intend that my people would walk in the way of the upright day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, and the mercy day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct and correct any and all who will pay heed unto me. Therefore I say, be steady, be faithful, be true to me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. And I say, be made glad each day that you are uplifted, guided, and directed by me. I say, be made glad each day that you are given the strength and the truth, the blessedness, the hope, and the mercy of who I am. For I say, it is me, the living God, and me alone you are meant to seek, to please, and obey. Now I say, therefore, this day, continue, 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 as a steadfast people who are ever finding their life in me. For I say, when it is me that you will be believing and trusting, when it is me that you will follow after and seek to please, then I say, you are guided in my way. And yes, you are given all that you ever have need of, for I am the I am. That is, I am the one who gives to the ones who serve me the way of my life. I say this day that I, the living God, never intended that my own people would be found in the way of careless, self-confident fools. For I say that the fools are the ones who esteem themselves to be gods, to be lords, to be kings, when really they are nothing but those who have been drunk on pride. That is, they have taken up the intoxication of pride till they are staggering under the same. 
And I say their minds are full of delusion and confusion, yet they exalt themselves. I say this day the Chai of Living God to provide this solution to the problems of humanity, that is the way of repentance before me. For I say when the people will walk in repentance, then I say they are found well pleasing. Now I say that my people of old, when I, the living God, did allow them to be mine, what did they do? I say they gave themselves over to whoredom, to wine, to pride, to contempt for my way. Then I say they strayed far from me. And I say they are the ones who paid, for I say they were indeed smitten with many stripes. For I say they behaved as fools. And I say then they were forced to repent again and again and again to return unto me. I say, so often they wandered from me, they took up the ways of the heathen, all to their own destruction. And I say, the same principle is true in these times that those who depart from me go only in the way of their own destruction. Now I say, this day that by the living God do not call you to destruction, but I say that I call you to come forth in my life. And I say that I call you to be uplifted each day of a purpose directed and guided by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful for the privilege to walk in that which I give you time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give the way of my righteousness revealed to those who will believe upon me. Now I say this day that there are those who lie and lie and lie to themselves and others likewise, proclaiming how great they are. That is, they are refusing to face their own inward darkness, refusing to repent over the same. And I say, such ones as these will live in their delusion and confusion, yet in the end they will go to hell. For I say, no matter how many pretensions a man may bring forth, I say that without repentance unto me he is hell bound. I say, this day that I, the living God, do not call you to take up idols of any kind, but I say that I call you to keep your focus, your vision ever upon me day by day. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to and believe. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Therefore, I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever looking unto me, believing in me and trusting, for I am indeed well able. And I say, continue in the way of my righteousness, the way of my truth, and the way of my mercy provided. For I say, it is through me that you will be guided, that you will be directed and corrected each day. And I say it is through me that you are given the light upon the path and the strength of who I am. Therefore I say in a way with a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, let it be me that you continue to serve and obey. And let it be me who will guide you forth, for I am indeed well able. Now I say this day that I don't have been God to intend that the ones who are mine would know what it is to be kept even in the sorest distress. For I say it is me, the living God, who is able to deliver to save my own. That is, the ones who are proving to be faithful, to be true unto me, I say they are uplifted and kept by me. And I say even in the most distressful of circumstance, that I, the living God, am able to keep my own. Therefore I say even now, be thankful for the privilege to serve me with gladness, being ever faithful and true unto me. For I say, if you are repentant each day, that is, putting aside those things that would take you into death and choosing the life by repenting and walking uprightly in me, then you are guided by me. Now I say that each day a man must choose for life and live out the life that I ordain. For I say, when you are indeed choosing the way that I have purposed, the way that I have provided, I say you are choosing to live in the abundance that I provide. And I say you are choosing to be ever guided in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all mercy, the way of all truth, and the way of hope provided. And it is me, the living God, who will guide forth and instruct the ones who are willing to be directed by me. That is, when a people will cleave unto me, believe upon me, and be brought forth in my way, then of course they are pleasing unto me. But I say, when a people are choosing the way of their own distress and sorrow by choosing in opposition to me, of course they are choosing death. I say this day that I don't have God to not call you to choose death, but I say that I call you to choose my life. And I say that I call you to be uplifted each day, ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say that I call you to be coming forth in the way that I offer, the way that I give. For I say there are many who have chosen death, and I say they dwell in the same day after day. I say this day there are so many agendas of darkness, evil, and iniquity that are raging in the land, and I say it is because men have departed from the fear of me. 
NSA, they have taken up a number of delusions and confusions all to their own damnation. I say this day do not flirt with any delusion or the confusion that accompanies the same. And I say do not take on the drunkenness of pride till you stagger in your own vomit. But I say you instead be walking soberly each day in me, knowing that it is me you are privileged to look unto and believe. For I say that a man is not meant to have his confidence in self, but rather in me. And I say that a man is not meant to lose hope in me because of the dreadful circumstance that has come upon the land. For I say when men are far from me that every evil force enters in. But I say when men will choose to walk uprightly in me and banish unbelief and doubt and fear not giving way to those ugly things, then I say that he's found pleasing me. I say this day why not be seeking to please me rather than self. And I say why not walk uprightly each day rejoicing ever thankful that it is me that you serve. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all truth and light, the way of all mercy, hope, and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct you, correct you, and bring you forth, for yes, indeed, you are mine. Now I say this day, when you trust in your own understanding, you are trusting in the fool. When you trust in me, you are trusting in life. I say this day, be thankful to be able to trust, to believe, to look to me. And I say, be thankful that I give unto thee the light upon the path, the mercy, the strength, and the hope of who I am. For I say, it is me, little being God, who is all righteousness and truth, mercy, hope, and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be brought forth in the strength, the truth, the power of who I am. Therefore, I say, be steady, be true, be faithful unto me, the one true God you are meant to please. And I say, be coming forth in the way of my truth, my light, ever thankful to be guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to stray away, to go in a way that I did not intend nor provide. But you can indeed be coming forth knowing that through me you are given the light always. That is, knowing that through me you are directed in that which I intend for my own, the way of life eternal. Now I say, this day do not live in confusion or delusion, but I say, be ever present in the newness of life that is found in me. And I say, be ever thankful that as you continue to live in, declare and proclaim repentance, that you are declaring, living in, and proclaiming the very thing that men have need of each and every day. For I say, there is hope to be found when men are repentant unto me. But I say, when men are full of pride and self-esteem, full of their own way demanding the same, I say they are full of death. I say this day be thankful for the privilege to be emptied of death that you can be with God in the life of who I am. I say give thanks made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for His good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Even if I am to be poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrificial offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with you all. I don't believe one percent of the Christians in America or all the world know God. They know theology, they know about God, they know references in the scriptures. But who really knows God? 